Hey there YouTube, Flaming Creations here back with another video and today I have a special glove to show. Not because it's a glove that I haven't built before, but it's for a special reason. So today I have this Part 6 Hero for my nephew Armadio. So I have a lot of nieces and nephews and they're all really great. Um, back when I first started building gloves, of course, I would show them uh, the gloves that I was building, and they were all very supportive of it. And I promised each of them that when they graduated high school, if they wanted, I would build them a free glove. And... Armadio is the first to take me up on that offer, so not that any of the other ones, uh, if they ever requested a glove, of course I would build them a glove, but Armadio is just the first to say, hey, I'll take a glove. So uh, he was uh, visiting last summer, and this is back when I had all of those different gloves in stock and ready to ship. And he was trying them on, looking at them, and he picked a Part 6 Hero. Uh, this isn't that Part 6 Hero that I had last summer. That one has long since sold, but uh, he said he wanted a Part 6 Hero. And to kind of make it a little bit extra special, I just so happened to have had a vintage 1178 lying around that I had already cut the holes in. I've had this leather on hand for probably six years now. I was going to use this for um, my own personal uh, Part 6 back when I built that years ago, um, but I decided, you know, wanted to use a different leather for that, so mainly because of the person I got this from had a, uh, originally I'm guessing this was a Trucker Special, and they had tried to remove the Trucker Special logo, but they had kind of messed up on sanding away the logo and there's a couple holes in there so I had to just patch a couple spots in where there was holes so otherwise it is a vintage 1178 style leather with the authentic mule stamp and of course you know the lines stamped on there but Uh, aside from that, uh, this is, I think, one, maybe the second glove that I've gotten to hand deliver in person because I've built a glove for my girlfriend and I don't think I've made any other gloves for anyone else, but I get to hand deliver this to him in person at his graduation here soon, so really happy with how this turned out. I've also had this glove lying around since, uh, when was it? February, I think was when I built it. Where does that say? 2-19-24, yeah, so I've had this glove done since February and just lying around. Uh, mainly because of I wanted to let this sit and kind of naturally age. Now granted, I did do some additional sanding to this because of I wanted it to be a little lighter of a color but I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Part sixes are one of my favorite gloves to build just because of how sloppy it is. It's a very wide and chunky glove. So, I have mosquitoes buzzing in my ear, and it is not fun whatsoever. But that's what happens when you have freshly mown grass, and it just rained last night, so.
But yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I highly doubt you're going to watch this, but uh, congratulations, Armadio. And again, if any of my other nieces and nephews w end up watching this, even though I've told you in person, but I'll always tell you again, if you guys ever want free gloves, just let me know and I'll build you guys some. So uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys all next time.